What's going on, Jerome's? So it's that time of year where you, you do the lists, you, you do all the rankings and stuff. But the third third team did up a question: What's the best? Uh, what's the NFL's best wide receiver trio? And obviously, we're biased, but we love the Vikings' new alkaline trio: shaking like a dog, <laughs> razor blades. Uh, Justin Jefferson, KJ Osborne, and Jordan Addison, the rookie from USC. And the Vikings are in the mix, right? So it's an open debate right now. Where you have Jefferson, who's the wide receiver one in the league. KJ, uh, is he is he a wide receiver two, or is he a better off as a wide receiver, high end wide receiver three? Can Jordan Addison uh, be the best rookie wide receiver in this class? He's going to have am- ample opportunity. Uh, how quickly can he rise up? But uh, I fully understand and appreciate that. I would say that right now, on paper, on purpose, the Bengals do have the best trio because they've done it on the field. Where I mean. Uh, Osborne hasn't been a wide receiver too with the Vikings. That was Adam Thielen, as well as Addison hasn't played it down yet. So, yes. So, Jamar Chase, absolute stud, top five receiver in the league. Uh, T. Higgins, I think super underrated, the pride of Clemson, as well as Tyler Boyd, who I think is also underrated, former Pitt Panther, uh, doing some fantastic things from the slot. Uh, And Joey Burrow's got some weapons there. Where I will say that Tyreek and Waddle are probably the best duo in the league, even though. Jefferson and any random jabroni off the street is a pretty damn good duo. Like Jefferson and me are, are up there with uh, Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle. But the problem is you have uh, the third leg of the tripod is uh, no, no. Uh, so they got chosen Anderson as their wide receiver three. No. Mm. Uh, Metcalf, Lockett, Jackson Smith, and Jigba. So DK and Lockett respect. DK is an absolute physical freak. Lockett has been a stud for years. Uh, extremely underrated and underappreciated. Uh, but he's getting a little bit older. Uh, JSN, how is he going to fit in? I-, I think Pete Carroll wants to run the ball. So who knows? Washington, low-key fantastic. So Scary Terry McLaurin is one of my favorite uh, receivers in the league. Curtis Samuel uh, hasn't really apexed in terms of his potential yet Jahan Dotson is one of the more underrated slot receivers so that's a really nice trio that no one ever talks about mainly because they never had a quarterback but I don't know maybe Sam Howell will work out Uh, the Chargers so the Chargers make sense but Keenan Allen mm, a little bit washed Mike Williams a little bit one-dimensional and Quentin Johnston uh, could be that guy uh, with Justin Herbert long term and then with the Saints you have Alave yes stud Michael Thomas used to be a stud hasn't played in like 17 years and then Rashid uh, Shahid uh, the UDFA coming out of Weber State uh, I believe so he showed some spark, but is relatively unproven. That one is certainly down there. And then you got Evans and Godwin. Where I mean, Godwin's been coming off injury for a number of years. Evans, Evans may be one of the most underappreciated receivers in the game. I mean, go look at his career stats: like thousand yard season, thousand, 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 thousand racking up and stacking up insane stats. He might be a first ballot Hall of Famer. He really might be. It's crazy, man. And then you got Russell Gage, uh, formerly of the Atlanta Falcons, coming in as a wide receiver three. So, you know, I I think that the Je- just given that you have Jefferson, even though KJ, you know, KJ stepping up is an unknown. Uh, Addison, obviously, an unknown as a rookie. But I mean, you do have to just lean in and say that uh, that just given JJ, it gives them a puncher's chance. Where I would put them as the number two trio right now. Uh, behind Chase Higgins and Boyd, respect. Uh, but also, this is the only trio where all three guys are on the rookie deal currently. And even if Jefferson signs an extension, it's he's only heading into year four. So you have a, a nucleus that could stay together. I mean, the Vikings could resign KJ Osborne, probably unlikely, uh, since I, I think KJ is going to get a mini bag uh, next off season. Uh, but Jefferson, KJ, and Addison, it's going to be beautiful, man. And also, if you want to throw in just pass catchers. You know, throwing in TJ Hawkinson into this mix. If you want to go uh, quadrangular, I mean, that could make sense as well. But you know, I, I understand some people think that these debates are frivolous. Maybe they are, but also 11 personnel is very prevalent. The Vikings played 11 personnel around uh, about three quarters of their offensive snaps last year, and your third receiver is basically a starter on your offense. So it is important how deep you go uh, at the wideout spot in the modern NFL. The Vikings go pretty damn deep, and I cannot wait. I kind of not wait to see Jefferson not getting double teamed every single play because they got to give attention to JJ. They got or KJ nailed it, uh, and Addison and TJ, all the J's, all that stuff, man. But yeah, I would say the Vikings are two. 
I may put Washington three just because a chosen Anderson weighs down Miami so much. But then I go Miami four. I would go Seattle five, Chargers six, Bucks seven, and Saints. I may not even rank the Saints. I, I, I might put the Jets up there just because uh, I love G-Dub that much. Yeah, G-Dub, Alan Lazard. <laughs> G- G-Dub, Alan Lazard, and and Randall Cobb. <laughs> Why not? Why not, man? But your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, do the Vikings have the best wide receiver trio in the National Football League? Question mark. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once worth the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull, production value.